Hey everybody, it's Kay. Hope you're doing well. It's about 100 degrees here in South Carolina. So I'm in the house, air on, blind shut, just trying to relax after a long day working here at home. And I figured I'd go ahead and record a video for you all in continuation of my book club series. Now I would really love to sit outside on my front porch and get some fresh air, but there's been a bear roaming around in my neighborhood, so I don't really feel comfortable doing that right now. Hopefully, prayerfully, he is long gone, but I'm not taking any chances. So, I'm here with you. Now, the books I'm going to share with you aren't in any particular order. I'm just going to let you know the books that I really did enjoy. The first one I don't have a physical copy of. It's on my Nook, but it is Perfect Peace by Daniel Black. And that book was so good. It's about family. It's about secrets. And if I say any more than that, I might give a spoiler. So I'll just leave it out that leave it at that. Again, perfect piece, Daniel Black. The next book is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. And this story is about a young girl who grows up in a home where her parents desperately need mental health assistance. Um, they're in they live in poverty, they're nomadic, but she overcomes all those obstacles to become very successful. This is a memoir. My book club did go see the movie, but we weren't as impressed with the movie as we were with the book. So again, that's The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Next is Cutting for Stone by Abraham Vergesi. This story is about twins Miriam and Shiva who, Marion and Shiva, excuse me, who are the sons, the twin sons of an Indian nun and a British surgeon. Now, after their mom dies and their father disappears, they feel completely abandoned, but they have each other and their love of science and medicine. And this book is about all the different things that they go through, and it explores a lot about what they do, um, in their careers as well but there is a twist at the end and this book was was one of those to me that started out really slow but once I got into it I did enjoy it next is Douglas's Women by Jewel Parker Rhodes and when I finished this book I was like Frederick Freddie Fred <laughs> And I didn't want to read anything by or about Frederick Douglass for a long time, but this book is an imagination, if you will, of Frederick Douglass's life with his black wife, Anne, and his white wife, Odeling. Now, in real life, her name was Helen. But yeah, this was very interesting. She did a really good job writing this one. So yeah, check this one out. Next is an autobiography, Black Boy by Richard Wright. And it is, it is such a good story, heart-touching. Um, Richard Wright is just a, a really good writer. And he is a civil rights activist. And he had a hard time growing up. But his story is just really good. So this is a good choice for Nonfiction November. Next is Don't Want No Sugar by J.D. Mason. I ended up taking the cover off of this book. I don't know why. This book is very good. It is a love story. It is a love triangle story, I guess you would say. But it is so good. I really did enjoy this book. And this is the prequel to One Day I Saw a Black King. Now, when I read that one, I loved it. So when I found out that this one was the prequel, I had to get it. And once I read it, I recommended it to my book club. And we had a really, really good discussion on, discussion on this book. We still talk about this book to this day. Again, Don't Want No Sugar, J.D. Mason. I love her writing style. She She's excellent. I don't even really have to say anything about this one, do I? So... Americana is about, oh, there's so many themes in this book, but the primary themes, racism as experienced by someone who um, is coming from another country. And when they get here to America, she when she gets here to America and she really sees how minorities are treated, you know, it's also a love story. But 
Brown Girl Reading did an excellent review of this book, and I think that review is what made me want to read this book. So check out her video for Americana. The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips, excellent book. Um, we have a mother who has multiple children, and she mistreats the darkest one. But the mother has all kinds of issues of her own that she needs to deal with. Unfortunately, this poor child um, suffers because of her mother's issues. And it's one of the best books you could ever read. I promise, read this book. You won't regret it. It's great. Another good option for nonfiction November is Infidel by Ayan Hirsi Ali. And uh, whew, I don't even know what to say. This book is spectacular. And what I love most about this book is the journey that she takes to find her freedom and independence from having to live up to the ex expectations of her culture and the men in her life, finding her own self. I loved it. Really, really good book. Stay With Me by Ayobame, Adab Ayobame Adabago. Ade Bayo. <laughs> I love this book because I love mess, and this has plenty of it. You have a, lo a young couple that's married, and you know, marriage is hard enough as it is, but when you get a messy mama involved, causing all kinds of chaos, and then you have the wife that makes some decisions that aren't great either. Well, I can't just say it's all her. They all make bad decisions in this book. But I love the messiness of it. So yeah, check this one out. I love reading books about women in other countries, other cultures. I The only thing is I really don't know how authentic some of the books are. And I guess that's my fault for not doing more research. But I just like a really good story. And I feel like this author told a good story. This book is Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. And this book is about sisters who are growing up in Shanghai. Their father, first of all, they're kind of well off, but then their father loses all their money. So he has to figure out what to do. He ends up selling away his daughters to American men to become wives. And they end up coming to America and things aren't as great as they thought it would be. So, yeah, this one is, is really good. And there's a sequel called Dreams of Joy. But I really did enjoy Shanghai Girls. The Space Between Us by Thirty Umargar. This book is about two Indian families who are entwined. One is a well-to-do family. The other is the family that works for them. And this story is about classism and relationships, women not being heard, not being listened to, their, their, their feelings and emotions and thoughts not being really considered. And it's about the relationship between women. It's, it's just, there's a lot packed into this short book. But it's a goodie. I don't even need to say anything about this one. I think most people recognize this book. And they know what it's about. Um, it was. It's an excellent, excellent read. Women, family, secrets, um, struggling, not communicating with one another. There's so so much in that one. The Known World by Edward P. Jones is about a, um, it, it takes place in the times of slavery. It is a historical novel. And there's a plantation owner who dies. His wife takes over. Over She don't know what she's doing. And it's, it's a story about the, the slaves that live there on the plantation. And then there's one unforgettable character named Alice in this book. And it's one of those journey books where you get to see these people in a certain place and then they move into it. It's just really good. Just please check that one out. 
Gather Together in My Name by Tracy Price Thompson. This one is a short thriller. It's about um, a set of triplets, and one of the brothers ends up on death row, um, accused of murder, and they are gathering together as the executioner's clock counts down. And this story is about brotherhood and relationships, relationship with their mother, who, who was trifling. And there's a twist at the end that you may not see coming. So, yeah. This book was very heartbreaking and sad to me. Um, it's about domestic violence. And it is based on a true story of generations of women in the same family who are abused and mistreated by the men in their lives. And this is Color Me Butterfly by L.Y. Marlowe. It was so heart-touching. And, mm, I, yeah, this, it, mm, I don't even know what to say. I, I think I could have cried <laughs> when I read this book in, in different places, just thinking of how these women, these girls were treated. So, yeah, that's a real good one. Homegoing, Homegoing by Yaa Jassy. I liked this book. The premise of it is we get to see, um, we get to see a family of Africans. Part of the family stays in Africa. The other part is captured and um, ends up in America as slaves. And we get to see what happens to each side of the family. Toward the end, I wasn't, mm, I wasn't as impressed with the, let's say, the last generation in the book. But what I really liked about the book is that it made me think about the other side. It made me think about the part of the family that stayed in Africa and what happened with them. I never really thought about that before. I'd always focused so much on the family here. But I never really gave a whole lot of thought to the family that stayed behind. And that's maybe that's why I really did like this book is because it made me really think about it. It made me sad because we'll never know that part of us. But I enjoyed the book nonetheless. This book was fantastic. A Thousand Splendid Sons by Colette Usini. The Kite Runner was, was good as well. My book club didn't read that one, but I did. A Thousand Splendid Sons is about two women in Afghanistan, one older, one younger, Miriam and Lila. They're both married to the same utterly disgusted, disgusting man, and what he put them through just ticked me off to no end. But the writing in this book is fantastic. And if you have not read... A Thousand Splendid Sons or The Kite Runner, I highly suggest that you do. The last two books, I don't even have to say anything because they're both masterpieces, okay? This is the first one. And then there's this one. So these are 20 books that my book club read that I absolutely loved. And comment down below, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you might be interested in any of these books. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and I will continue with my book club series. Thank you all for watching and commenting. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, everybody, keep reading. Bye-bye.